Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 16th of 2024 is titled Filaments of the Vela Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a portion of the Vela Supernova Remnant. And this is the remnant of a star that was seen to explode on Earth about 10,000 years ago. Now it would have been a very bright star in the sky at the time incredibly bright and in fact many supernovae can actually be seen during the day. And that would be the case if one were to occur within our own galaxy. Now within any particular galaxy supernovae do occur but don't occur all the time so it can be a while before we see one. And in that's the case in our own galaxy we have not yet seen one to explode in our own galaxy since the advent of the telescope back in the early 1600s. Now that doesn't mean that none have exploded some of them could be on the other side of the galaxy hidden by vast amounts of dust between us and the supernova enough to dim it sufficiently that it could be completely invisible. However, we can find hundreds or even thousands of supernovae each year in more distant galaxies and automated surveys are finding more and more. Now this is one we get to study up close because it's much closer than the ones that we study within more distant galaxies. And we can still see the remnant expanding out in the various filaments of material that we see expanding outward here. Now as that material expands outward it creates shock waves and we can see those knots of material as it travels out through the interstellar medium. This material has been enriched with heavier elements. Now to an astronomer a heavy element is anything that is not hydrogen or helium. So things like carbon and oxygen as well as our traditional heavy elements things like lead and uranium would also be present that would have been created in this explosion. Now this is how we get heavier elements. The original stars that would have formed after the Big Bang would have been made of only hydrogen and helium. And it took time for those heavier element concentrations to build up so that planets like Earth that could sustain life and had things like carbon and oxygen and iron were able to form. So really the material that we see and materials within our body were once part of a supernova much like this, which were then expelled outward into the interstellar medium and became seed material for future generations of stars. So it allowed them to form planets like Earth that had things like silicon and iron that make up the body of the planet and things like carbon and oxygen that we need for life. So it took supernovae like this many times over many generations to build up those levels, even to the very small percentages that we see today to allow planets like Earth to form. So here today we get to see a remnant of a supernova that is still expanding outward after 11,000 years uh, when it was or would have been seen to have exploded and appeared as a bright point in the sky here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for April 16th of 2024. It was titled Filaments of the Veil Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.